I remember a long time ago, I was talking to one of my older cousins and he was talking about the older generation in the family and he was saying that he's heard a couple stories where a couple women have been slapped around by their partners or whatever, isn't it? And he was talking about actually someone in his generation. Now, I've got a massive family. He was talking about someone in his generation, one of his cousins. There was some altercation with her boyfriend and... Her boyfriend smacked her, but apparently I think the boyfriend hit her first or whatever, in it. So in his defense, he hit her back. And then he said to me, oh, yeah, you know, like, if one of my cousins, one of my girl cousins was in trouble, like, oh, yeah, he would expect me to go and run and back the thing and defend the girl. And back then, yeah, the man, 17, hype, yeah, one seven. Yeah, man, man, will smack up anyone for any of my cousins. Now, nah. No, listen, I've, I've even um, been told about a situation. So my mum went out for a meal with certain people and there was one particular girl there. She's family. Apparently her boyfriend was beating her up or something like that. And my mum is a nice person, you know, like my mum not like me. Yeah, my mum's nothing like me. Any of you lots know my mum, yeah? Like me, I'm just like the complete end of the spectrum. My mum is so nice and stuff like that. But even my mum's got some principles. Yeah? I'm not saying that if you're a nice person, you ain't got no principles and you're a pussy or something like that. But if my mum's got principles, mum's at this dinner table, they're in a restaurant and the girl is there with the boyfriend that beat her up. And my mum was like... Someone asked me, oh, what, what's up or something like that? And she said, what, why is this boy sitting here? Yeah, he shouldn't be here. He's been putting his hands on this girl or whatever. And no, I don't, don't even, I think, yeah, I think what happened is I think the boy tried to speak to her or something. She's like, no, don't chat to me. Yeah, I don't even know why you've been invited to this family meal and you're going on sub and all them things there, innit? Yeah, so my mum stuck it on, stuck it on the boy, innit? And she's like, listen, next time you put your hands on that girl, you're going to have me to deal with. Yeah, like that's what my mum's saying. She's coming for the you. Yeah, she's like, forget about my two sons. Yeah, I'll be coming for you myself, or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah, and like in those situations, that I said, my mum, don't even bother waste your time. Yeah, trying to defend someone else's honor, or whatever. In it, because me, I ain't doing no. I ain't defending no girl who's getting beaten up by her boyfriend. Do you know why? Because it's not the first time. Yeah, so. If someone has, if someone knows about a situation, say for example, you know a gal or a woman or whatever who's getting beaten up by a boyfriend, yeah? don't go and defend no one, you know, because it's not the first time that it's happened. And that woman, for whatever reason, they don't want to leave that that guy, that boy, whatever, innit, yeah? so it's their fault. They're putting up with the nonsense, whatever, innit, yeah? it's not all about... Some people can say, oh, yeah, one woman fight the man back or whatever, innit, yeah? It, listen, you have to take action, innit, yeah? It's not about swinging punches or whatever, innit, yeah? If she's not willing to call the police and lock this guy up, then what does that tell you? She's a fool for putting up with the nuns. I don't give a fuck if, if I'm a woman and I'm getting abused in my yard. Remember, home is supposed to be a safe haven, you know? If I'm a woman and I'm getting abused in my yard... I don't give a fuck, I'd rather go homeless than be in a place that's not safe. So, if a woman is dumb enough to put up with that bullshit because, oh, you know, she might be homeless or she won't be living that lifestyle, don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time. Now, if I'm in a situation, say, for example, I had a family member and her boyfriend beats her up or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? I ain't gonna run and defend nobody. Yeah? The only people I'm just defending is my mum and my sister, innit? Yeah? But if I have a family member and her boyfriend is beating her up, or whatever, I ain't gonna defend no one. But if it happens in front of me, oh, I'm gonna fuck that guy up. Fuck, fuck the girl. <laughs> fuck the girl. Ain't got nothing to do with her. You're disrespecting my presence. You're basically saying that you can do whatever foolishness in front of me. I don't care if there's 10 other people in the room, whatever, innit? Yeah, it's about me. Fuck the girl, yeah? You're disrespecting me by thinking that you can beat up someone in my presence. That's like, yo, nah, then I'm getting involved. But if, you know, I've got told a story or whatever, and I ain't getting involved, I ain't defending no one. Because I will be the man who goes to jail for this girl who's still going to be with this guy. And 
I ain't defending no one who ain't willing to go and work overtime, yeah? So imagine they do a, a Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. I ain't willing to go to jail for no one who ain't going to work Saturday and Sunday to put fucking money on my books. So I ain't defending no girl. And I know one girl, uh, she gets slapped around by her boyfriend or something like that. And I was thinking to myself, like, why are not all the brothers going to the yard and smacking up the youth or whatever, innit? You're like, you know, defend your sisters on and You know, if they're going to kill no one, but you need to... Yeah. And at the time I was like, ah, oh, them man, they're idiot. They're letting them, they're letting this boy beat up their sister, or whatever, and they ain't going to defend their honor, innit? But what's the fucking point? If the girl is gonna stay with the guy, what is the point of defending her honor? What is the point? Now, obviously, if you see it in front of you, that's different. That's different because you know, if I see a girl getting beaten up in front of me and that, like you know, and I know the people there, man, nah, you're, you're disrespecting me as a man. You're basically saying, yeah, you could do whatever you want. And nah, it ain't, ain't gonna happen. That ain't running, in it? But other than that, I ain't fucking running down the road and defending no woman, nothing like that. Because I know they're just gonna go back to the man. So, listen, I hear all stories all the time. Girls getting abused by their boyfriend and shit and he's still in contact with them. Still in contact. They might not see each other, whatever, but... Why are you even talking to the man? Why are you even chatting to the man? So, yeah, there's a lot of foolishness out there, whatever, isn't it? And I remember one time, I heard the worst, I heard the worst domestic violence story ever. I used to check one older girl. So when I was yeah, like 22, this girl was 34, right? And... She told me about her younger, I think it was her cousin or her niece or something like that. But she wasn't that much younger, in it? Let's say the girl's 34 and the younger niece or cousin or whatever is about 26 or whatever, innit? She told me, so this girl was from Tottenham and she had a boyfriend from Hackney. Now, the girl from Tottenham, she was a working girl, she used to, you know, earn a bit of money, whatever, and yeah. He was more like a fucking kept man. Yeah. He never did nothing. He used to sit on the sofa all day long, playing with knives or some kind of foolishness like that, innit? Yeah. He was just basically a bum. He didn't do nothing with his life. And he used to just take control of her. Yeah. You see, there's certain man in this world, and you're the biggest fucking idiot in this world if you allow a woman to take control of your finances eh? there's certain man in this world who get paid from work and the money does not go into their account the money goes into their missus's account i don't care if it's their wife i don't care if it's their i don't give a fuck who it is if you're a man and you get paid the money's supposed to go into your account likewise if you're a woman anyway the money that she was getting paid Somehow he convinced her, because obviously he's got her under control, to transfer it to his bank account. And she was starting to get into real debt. Like, she couldn't pay off her bills. And he would just go and spunk the money. I don't know, maybe it's bunny weed or something like that. And then he started beating her up and that. So one time, the girl that I was checking, who's 34, now she's tall. Man. She's a big girl, you know, like six foot three. And she, she's not fat or nothing like that, but she ain't no... She ain't no size 8 fucking lampos kind of supermodel or nothing like that. One time, the girl that I was seeing, she's like 34, one time her and a couple of her sisters went to the house after they got a report that the boyfriend beat her up and they beat up the guy or whatever. They first, they went in the house and they held him down and they must have, he must have had a knife local or whatever. It? So they kicked the knife or thrown the knife away. And they beat him up on the sofa, whatever. Innit? Imagine getting beaten up in your own house by three women, whatever. Innit? Anyway, he didn't retaliate too much right then and then. I think maybe the girlfriend must have kicked out the boyfriend or whatever. So the girl who got beaten up by the boyfriend, she's kicked him out. Anyway, as women are, some of them are silly. They still keep in contact with the person who beat them up. He's said to her, oh, call me, um, come meet me somewhere. Yeah. He's met this girl somewhere and 
he absolutely annihilated her. He battered her and he raped her in the back of his friend's car. He battered her so badly and she must have lost consciousness or something like that. Anyway, he's battered her and he's raped her in the, in the back of his friend's car. I think the police were driving past and they looked in the car and she mouthed like, help me or whatever. You know, the police arrested him and they put the girl in the back of the ambulance, right? You know, she died and they had to bring her back to life twice. He battered her so hard and so badly, they had to bring her back twice. Now, they've taken this girl to hospital and the girl, the woman out, the, the chick that I was seeing, she's obviously gone to go and visit her niece or cousin, whoever the girl is to her. And they walked past, you know, like, I don't really know about hospitals too much, but you know, like the room that, it, you know, the patients, the patient room, whatever. And, uh, they walked past her because they didn't recognize her. Her face was so big and lumpy. They said she looked like an elephant. She said that her face was so Badly bruised and beaten up, it used to scare the other patients in that room. So they had to constantly keep the curtains closed because the other patients were afraid because obviously she looked so disfigured or whatever. And I think the fucking girl even went back to the guy as well. See, 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 see when I hear these, these kind of stories, that this is why I don't give a fuck. If I've got any family members and they're getting beaten up by their boyfriends, I ain't defending nobody. If I see it in front of me, well, you're disrespecting me as a man. I'm going to do something. But other than that, I ain't picking up myself and going to defend no one. I've got a lot of little sister. I love her to bits, whatever. If she, gets, if she has a boyfriend, the boyfriend smacks her. I'm going to go and smack him up. But if she takes him back, if anything else happens, that's it. That is it. That is it. She's on her own because she should know. Don't, don't deal with no man who, who, who smacks you or put his hands on you or whatever. You know, so... That is basically like the worst domestic violence. Obviously, I've heard stories and stuff like that. And I was reading on the internet um, quite recently about women getting murdered and stuff during this pandemic um, nonsense, or during the lockdown or whatever. But that's pretty much one of the worst uh, domestic violence stories I've heard. But I ain't going out of my way to ride out and, and defend no one. Because I know that they're just going to go back and, 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 and be with the guy. So, yeah, I thought I'd just share my thoughts on, you know, women who get beaten up and stuff like that while they're boyfriends and why I wouldn't go and defend no woman. Stay wise.